the United States has started the largest infrastructure project in human history. A complete top-to-bottom overhaul of our entire electrical supply grid. Retrofitting new intelligent devices at every step. From the power company's generators to the devices in our homes. And making sure every component is secure from attack while also adding in control of water, gas, and sewage systems. And this total makeover must happen while the whole system is operating online at peak capacity. While it's growing, in fact. In short, we've begun building a smarter power grid. One that works pretty much like the Internet. You could call it the Intergrid. Our aging power grid system is starting to fail. We're seeing more blackouts and brownouts. And it runs inefficiently, wasting carbon into the air. New clean sources like wind and solar, which make power only part of the time, need intelligent pathways to get to consumers. And Americans prefer the power they use to have been produced by Americans. Right now, our fragile, less-than-smart power grid interconnects nearly 10,000 utility plants. That's well over a million megawatts of generating capacity. About half of it comes from burning coal. At least one-third of the United States carbon output, maybe more, comes from power generation. Almost one-fifth of our power steams onto the grid from the boiling water heated by the nation's 104 nuclear reactors. Nearly 6% of the electricity used in the U.S. comes from flowing or falling water. Hydroelectric power, generated at river dams. But the same 6% of all electric power that's produced gets lost before it gets where it's supposed to go. It either melts away as heat as it travels along more than a quarter million miles of metallic wire, or it simply shorts to ground. Undetected, somewhere within the constant maintenance headache of the decaying patchwork of cable, towers, and poles. Reclaiming just that 6% would be the equivalent of taking 55 million cars off the road in terms of the petroleum saved and greenhouse gases prevented. For the past quarter century, the peak demand for power has been outpacing investment in new transmission lines and power regulation systems that can only react when something goes wrong. They're not good at spotting problems before they happen. The old grid flies perilously close to the breaking point every hot day in sunlit cities. According to the Department of Energy, U.S. businesses lose over a hundred billion dollars a year to blackouts and brownouts. The power that does arrive has to be used as soon as it gets there. But up until now, there hasn't been a good way for consumers to tell the power company how much power they might want to purchase. To keep our electrical grid from grinding to a halt, the new Intergrid will work on a principle known as prices to devices. If you knew that electric rates were going to spike very high this afternoon, you might decide to leave your home air conditioner off while you're out of the house. Well, suppose your air conditioner, in fact your entire home, knew it before you. What if those devices, your thermostats, washers, dryers, refrigerators, jacuzzis, could make decisions about how much energy to purchase according to your preset preferences and telling the utility company what you're willing to pay? Now that's truly speaking truth to power. To see exactly how the Intergrid will listen to your demands and how it will keep itself healthy and secure, please play part two of the Electric Intergrid. <laughs>